together by the fabric of reality. The first of the creatures lunged at Shungo, its claws outstretched, ready to tear into him. With a snarl, Shungo swung his axe, the blade slicing through the air with the force of a hurricane. The creature exploded into a cloud of black smoke, vanishing as quickly as it had appeared. Zeus was not far behind. One of the creatures charged at him, and with a flick of his wrist, he sent a bolt of lightning crashing into its chest. The beast howled in agony before disintegrating into ash. But for every creature they destroyed, two more seemed to rise from the breach. The darkness was relentless, and as it continued to pour out its twisted minions, it became clear that this was not a battle that could be won with brute force alone. We're wasting time? Zeus growled, his eyes narrowing as he surveyed the battlefield. This darkness is endless, there has to be another way to close the breach. Shango sneered, wiping the blood of a fallen creature from his face. You think I don't know that? I faced worse than this before. But if you have a better plan, now's the time to share it. The two gods stood back to back, their weapons raised, as more creatures advanced, their movements were graceful and precise. Each strike calculated, each blow delivered with lethal force. But even as they fought together, there was a tension between them, an unspoken rivalry that simmered beneath the surface. Zeus' voice cut through the chaos, we need to get closer to the breach. It's feeding these creatures. If we can't seal it, they'll disappear. Shungo grunted in agreement. He didn't like taking orders from Zeus, but he knew that this was no time to let pride get in the way. The survival of the world was at stake, and as much as he hated to admit it, Zeus was right. Together, they fought their way through the horde of creatures, their powers combining in a brilliant display of light and sound. Shungo's thunder roared through the skies, shaking the very earth beneath their feet, while Zeus' lightning cut through the darkness like a blade. The two gods moved in perfect sync, their powers intertwined, pushing back the creatures step by step. But the closer they got to the breach, the stronger the pull of the darkness became. It was as if the breach was alive, sensing their approach, and it began to twist and warp, its tendrils reaching out like claws, trying to drag them into its depths. The air around them grew heavy, thick with the stench of decay. The ground beneath their feet crumbled, and the sky above them rippled with unnatural energy. It was clear that the darkness was more than just a force seat was intelligent, aware, and it wasn't going to let them close the breach without a fight. Just as they neared the breach, something happened. The darkness shifted, swirling faster and faster, until it coalesced into a single form. From the heart of the breach, two figures emerged all. Monstrous beings, their bodies made entirely of shadow, their eyes glowed with a sickly red light, and in their hands, they held weapons forged from the darkness itself. One carried a spear, the other a sword, both weapons pulsing with an eerie, otherworldly energy. I guessed as I realized what we were seeing, these were not mere creatures born of the darkness, these were the guardians of the darkness one sent to protect the breach. To ensure that it could never be closed, Shungo and Zeus paused, their eyes narrowing as they sized up their new opponents. The air crackled with tension as the two gods prepared for battle. The guardian with the spear stepped forward first, its movements fluid and graceful despite its monstrous appearance. It launched at Shungo, its spear aimed at his heart. Shungo blocked the attack with his axe, the force of the impact sending shockwaves through the ground. With a growl, he pushed the guardian back, his muscles straining as he fought to hold his ground. Zeus, meanwhile, was locked in combat with the other guardian, the one with the sword. The two of them moved with lightning speed, their weapons clashing with a sound like thunder. Zeus summoned a bolt of lightning, hurling it at the guardian, but the creature dodged with ease, its body twisting and contorting in ways that defied the laws of nature. The battle was fierce, each side giving no quarter. Shungo and Zeus fought with all their might, but the Guardians were unlike anything they had ever faced. They were not just physical beings they were manifestations of the darkness itself, and their strength was drawn from the very breach they were protecting. For every blow Shungo and Zeus landed, the Guardians seemed to grow stronger, their forms shifting and warping as they absorbed the energy of the breach. The tension between Shungo and Zeus, which had been simmering since the beginning, finally boiled over. This is your fault, Shungo growled, his eyes blazing with fury as he deflected another strike from the spear-wielding guardian. Your arrogance brought this upon us. Zeus snarled in response, 
his grip tightening on his thunderbolt. My arrogance, you're the one who thinks you can solve everything with brute force. The two gods clashed, their powers flaring as they argued in the heat of battle, but their fight only served to fuel the darkness. The more they fought with each other, the stronger the guardians became, feeding off their conflict. It was then that I realized something. The darkness wasn't just a physical force, it was something far more sinister. It fed on pride, on anger, on the very emotions that Shungo and Zeus were allowing to control them. Their rivalry, their hatred for one another, was what was keeping the breach open, but how could I make them see that? As I watched them fight, both against the Guardians and against each other, I felt a sense of hopelessness wash over me. If they didn't stop this, if they didn't find a way to work together truly work together then the darkness would win, the breach would never be closed, and the world would be consumed.